Hey everyone, it's Zach, and I decided to jump in some rank battles as a warm-up for this Series 5 Season 8, and um, so far it hasn't been going well. I mean, I felt confident about my team going into this, but not so much now. So the second team might come out quicker than I thought. But if you don't know, Series 5 allows Pokemon from the Isle of Armor DLC, including Terrakion, Verizion, and Cobalion. So it's exciting to have new teams, new matches, new Pokemon to use. Um, it'd be going better if I was actually doing something with it. There's really no way of redirecting. I definitely, with that Tyranitar and that Amoongus, uh, uh, Tyranitar and Lapras, I definitely want to bring Amoongus. And I want to say Urshifu is my best bet for the last one. I tried to bring Amalga to two of the three first matches I went up against, and, uh, I think Amalga is going to get replaced. I just don't know what to put in its place. So we're going to see the Lapras Conkelder. So I think here I just beat up turn one. You can mock punch and do a decent amount of damage. Close combat even. But if I can take out this Lapras, turn one, that'll be a pretty good start. So we see the Lapras, Gigantamax second, so that shows that I already have the speed advantage. So I don't really need to Tailwind at this point. And we're gonna get Tracheon up to plus four with Justified and Beat Up. And hopefully we can take out this Lapras. Because if we don't, we potentially activate a weakness policy. And probably just give it the ability to revenge kill. Okay, here's the max rock fall. And we are able to knock it out, okay. So unfortunately when we bring up the sand, we do chip away uh, at Whimsicott's Sash. Ooh, wow.
And the Timonite will come out, but we're still plus three. I think here we see an extreme speed come out from the Arcanine, if it has it. Or Mock Punch. Okay. I probably should have max guard it there. Definitely should have max guard it there. We see the Conkeldur's life orb. And we'll see if Flare Bits come out from the Arcanine, which will probably take out Whimsicott. Yep. And this Arcanine is definitely the issue here. So we're going to have to target that one down. Conkelder should go down to the next turn of Sand or Life Orb, no matter what. Okay, so our Urshifu does outspeed the Arcanine, which is good. Okay. And they should lose their Conkelder to Sand Chip, or Life Orb Chip. And Amoongus takes that Thunder Punch really well, but it does get a Paralysis. So who's their last Pokemon? That's the question. Tyranitar. Could be Lumberry. I think our best bet is just a Surging Strikes and Giga Drain, just double into it. Unfortunately, we did put the Sand... Well, did the Sand go down? No, so the Sand should go early. Okay, so as long as Amoongus, never mind, we don't have to worry about that. Well, it took the first three losses to actually win one, but I'm glad we can pull it off. I definitely could have played that match a lot better. Let's continue and move on with our next opponent. Hopefully we can get back up to rank 9 tonight. And we have our next opponent. So this is definitely... Expanding force. Amoongus doesn't do much here.
Yeah. We see the Hatterini and Didi. We can't fake out. The Intimidate doesn't really matter. So we're going to see a follow me from Ndidi. And then we're just going to have to target it down. There's the follow me. Our best situation is that we hope for a flinch. Okay, so we do take out the Ndidi. And we'll see the Trick Room go up. And Marowak comes in as the Sweeper. I think here I want to protect and we'll just darkest lariat again because I want to say you you target down the Terrakian and we're gonna see the Alola Marowak Dynamax And I want to say we see a Max Quake come out. But who do you target down? Expanding Force doesn't affect Incineroar. But you go for the Incineroar slot. Understandable. I need better answers against the Hatterini trick room. This expanding force being a single target move is not going to be good. Oh, two turns of trick room, that's all they need is two turns. Let's go for the Hatterini. I mean, if we can live the double up, we still can't stop. Stall out Trick Room. And a single target expanding force might be all they need. Yep. Okay.
it amazes me that this new series, all these new Pokemon came out and all they did was make Trick Room better. <laughs> Let's see. The club. We knew that. How'd you get a Galar? A Lolo Marowak? That's what I want to know. Because as far as I know, I don't think there's any way to do it. So you set the sun, and then once Trick Room goes out, there's Venusaur was probably in the back. Okay. Let's get one more in. Scizor, Porygon 2, Kingdra, Politoed, King's Gone. Kingus Gang and Amoongus. We will have to try, because I want to say they lead rain here. We'll have to try to outspeed the Kingdra, which I don't know if we do that in Tailwind. But no, we're actually going to see the Scizor and King is gone. I think we see a fake outcome. So I just want to max Knuckle and switch in and Senor to get an Intimidate off on both of these physical attackers. Because I want to say you, you fake out the Whimsicott trying to prevent the beat up. Okay, Scrappy. There's the fake out. And we'll get a max knuckle off. Okay. What does this scissor want to do though? Sword stance. Okay. I think we see the Scizor Max here, so I do want to. I do want to fake out into the Politoed, and actually no. A bullet punch. Okay. And we are able to just take out the Scizor with a Max Rock Fall. We take away the rain. So if there is a Kingdra in the back, there is hope that we can outspeed it.
we were real safety goggles, but I don't think that's really that big of a deal. And there's that Kingdra. So I think here I want to max guard and just parting shot in the Kingdra. Who did you go for though? That's the real question. If you went into the Tracheon, you did, yes. Ooh, that put a lot into Insignore. That parting shot's gonna help. We'll bring in Whimsicott. Break our sash. Try our swan song of rock slide and tailwind. Okay. So we didn't get Politoed, but. And Politoed actually has a berry. And we'll see a max airstream. Can we get a flinch on the Politoed? No. Do I have any speed investment on this instant roar? No. So even with Tailwind, this Kingdra probably outspeeds us. Let's Spore, and I guess just Fake Out. There goes Incendiary War. Hopefully we get the Spore off. So I think we should just Giga Drain into the Kingdra. Muddy Water, you're gonna go for Accuracy Drops.
Let's hope this king just stays asleep. Okay. Earth power. Okay, take out the Politoed. That Tailwind didn't matter. There's two more turns of rain. So we can probably live one Hurricane. But Kingdra's gonna stay asleep, and we should seal this. Yep. Awesome. Go, Moongus. And we are going to end it there. Let's go ahead and update this. Well, at least we went two and one on the recording. Kind of feel bad losing three in a row before, but if you made it this far, let me know who I should replace Emolgowit in the comments down below. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next one.